Hi there, I'm David. I work in tech. For many years, I've been trying to get my parents to use a password manager because as we all know, the attacks and threats on the internet only get more sophisticated, not less as time goes on. And it's best practice to use a different password for each website. Uh, but what I found is that they sometimes get confused by how to navigate one password. And I'm thinking that they're probably not an isolated case. I'm sure there's other people out there. And so I'm hoping I'm making this video for them, but I'm also hoping that it'll be useful for other people out there. So I'm going to cover three different scenarios here. One is we want to create a password. Uh, two is we want to look up a password that we've created. And then three is we want to share a password with someone else in our family securely. And I'm going to show how to do that on Mac OS, in the Chrome browser, and on iOS. So I'm assuming you're using one of those three. I'm also assuming that you've already installed 1Password. If you haven't, then uh, go look up how to do that and then come back here. So let's get started. I'm going to just create this Yahoo password, just kind of a generic one here. Uh, I'm going to click Mail. And I want to create an account here. And I'm going to just fill in some dummy values for these. And then when I click password, one password, you see this little icon that pops up. And it's going to suggest a password. And let's say that I don't like that password that it suggests. I can tell it to create a different one by going up to this little one password icon in the browser here. And I click this, it pops down. And I can click a plus here and click password generator. And then now I have a lot more control over the, the type of password that's created. They automatically suggest the smart password, which is whatever special formula that they use to calculate this. Uh, but if I want more control, I can have random password here. And then it has a length. I can decide if I want it shorter. Uh, no numbers, no symbols. I have good control over that. If I want a passphrase, I can create one of these and it just creates a random three picks three random words separates them by dashes this can be really useful for passwords that you have to type but you also want to memorize so right now I'm just gonna go with a random password I can click this shuffle button to create a different one and then I click autofill it'll fill that one in and then it'll prompt me to save this uh, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it Yahoo test here and now that will be saved, and if I click continue, which I won't because I need to fill in the rest of this stuff, it'll save that password in one password. Okay, so that's with the browser. Now let's say I want to create it with the app itself. So I think one thing that confuses my parents is that this is not actually the one password app. This is just a plugin for Chrome that talks to one password. If I want to actually open the one password app, I can go to the very top of the screen and there's that 1Password icon here. If I click that, it'll pop up in 1Password. And the nice thing about this is you can do it anywhere. So you don't actually have to have a Chrome browser open. So if you have an app that individually requires a password, you can use this system level 1Password. And then you can also pop this out by hitting settings, open 1Password, and this gives you the full app. Now the other way to open this up is if you go to the very top right of the screen, there's a feature called Spotlight Search, and it's this little magnifying glass icon. You click it, it pops open, and then you can type in 1Password7. Oh, there you go. And that po pops up in the app. So let's say I wanna create my new Yahoo login. I click plus for add item, click login here. I'm gonna type Yahoo test two, and then this is the same deal where it has this password field and I click the settings to generate a new password and then I have these other options. And this is this is kind of analogous, like the, the UI that here doesn't quite line up where they called this a passphrase, but now here they call it a memorable password. So it's not always consistent between the Chrome plugin and this part of it, but uh, yeah. So that's an interesting copulate, huh? Okay, that's an interesting passphrase that it came up with there. Um, random password, and then I'm gonna call that good here. And then another thing you can do here is once I click save, if I wanna reveal this password, I can I can click this drop down, and this'll reveal what it created. I can also click copy to copy it to my clipboard. And then if I'm 
needing to paste it somewhere, you can just right click and click paste. And there's the password from here. And now I will drag this over. I have a zoom screen where I'm sharing my my Mac or my iOS uh, home screen. You can see that I have one password here and I can open it up there, but I can also swipe down and type in one password in the spotlight search here. And then that will open it up. Usually you can log in with face ID, but it will also log you in uh, using the password for one password. So if I want to create a new one, I need to go to this categories on the bottom right or bottom of uh, the bottom part of the screen, click categories and then tap the plus. I want to create a new login. I want to call it Yahoo Yahoo test three and then click next. I need to, I think it forces you to create a new username. So I'm going to just type David test here and then click next. And then the password is the same deal where you can generate a random one, click save. And then it brings me to this Yahoo test. And, I, and then I can tap this to reveal. I can also tap to copy it and go into a different app. One password is also integrated with iOS. And unfortunately I was trying to share that earlier over Zoom and I think iPhone blocks you from sharing that. I think it doesn't share the keyboard for security reasons. And so I can't actually show that. But if you're on a website that you have a saved login for one password with, or an app even, the keyboard on iOS will give you the option to log into that and it will talk to one password and auto fill your password for apps or for Safari logins, which is really useful. It makes it a lot easier. So you don't have to jump between the one password app and whatever app you're using. But if you don't have that option, you can always open up one password, um, look up your login and then copy it. Okay. So the case that we also wanted to talk about was looking up a password that you already created. So I'm going to open up the one password app for this. Again, I'm just going to click open one password. So let's say I want to find that, um, that Yahoo password that I had created. I'm just going to search for Yahoo test three. Uh, that's this one. This is the one I created on my phone. I can reveal that. I can copy paste it. So it has this handy little search bar here that you can look up your passwords with. And now if I want to do that on my phone, uh, I accidentally killed the zoom sharing. So I just need to get that back up just a second. I'm going to share content, share screen, start broadcast. And we should see that in just a second. Here it is. I'm going to open up one password here and then now I have my, my favorites. So these are the ones that you've used most often. You can also go to category. I think you can actually search all your passwords from favorites. So if I, if I do a search for Yahoo test, uh, there it is right there. Yahoo test two and three. These are all the ones that I created. And so that's how I do that. I think I'm just going to leave this screen open. So now let's say that I want to share the, th the third flow I wanted to talk. Oh no, I lost it. I, uh, oh well, I'll open it back up in a second. The third case I wanted to talk about was, let's say I want to share a password with my family. So I'm gonna open up one password, the desktop app here, and I'm gonna pop it open, open one password here, and you can see here I have these vaults. So one password has, every person has their own individual vault. And so that's that's like a bucket where all of your passwords are shared and they're not shared or are stored and they're not shared with anyone else. And you can see there's also a vault in this Merrick family group. I have all my family under this family account. And if I want to add something to the shared vault, it's pretty easy to do. I just click personal to open up my vault. And let's say I want to share this Yahoo test account that I created. I can hit edit and I can um, go down to, oh, it's right here. And I can click shared and then click save. And I can go into this shared vault and sure enough that password has now been shared with everyone else. 
Now, if I want to do that in, over the phone, I'm going to open that um, Zoom back up, and this will just take a second to share my iOS desktop there. There we go. So now I can open up 1Password, and let's say, so in, if I want to open up my vaults, it's in the, it's this circle that's colored at the upper left. I can hit shared. Sure enough, my Yahoo test is there. But let's say I want to share my Yahoo test too. So I can do a search for Yahoo test. Search everything. This might, I might not, I, I think I need to log back into my other vault. There we go, I was in the wrong vault. So I'm gonna go in my personal vault. Let's say I wanna share this Yahoo Test 3 account. I can, the flow is a little bit different from using the desktop app, but if I open up that Yahoo Test 3, I can scroll down to move and copy, and then I can go copy, or I can cl click move to vault, and then I can move it to that shared vault. And then if I open up, um, that shared vault, now you should be able to see. Here we go, all items, and then you can see that Yahoo test and Yahoo test three are stored there. So hopefully uh, 1Password is a little bit clearer now. I, um, If there's anything else you would like to see, I'm happy to film a follow-up video. Uh, so I hope it was helpful in getting up to speed on 1Password, and I hope that you get a lot of use out of it, and I hope this was helpful for you too, Mom and Dad. So I will see you next time.